Hey guys, it's Chloe here. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to start this video by um, doing my shameless plug. If you're not subscribed, if you're new to my channel and you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button below. Hit the bell next to it so that you can get notifications for when I upload a new video. And uh, please like my videos. If you don't like them, you can hit dislike. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I know a lot of my videos are kind of boring. I'm slowly starting to learn how to edit. And again, I want to apologize on this video. You'll see the Filmora banner across the bottom here. Um, currently, my financial situation does not allow me to purchase the actual Filmora um, software. And so in order for me not to have that banner across the top, the bottom of the, of the screen, which is probably right about here, um, if you... Um, if you purchase it, then you can get rid of that. And unfortunately, I don't have the $40 for the year to pay for the Filmora because all my money is going to pay for my bills. So any help you guys can give me, that'd be great. I'm not sure exactly how that all works. I don't know about um, changing everything on my YouTube channel. Apparently, I cannot upload videos directly from Filmora into YouTube unless they're 15 minutes or less. And so... This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video. Um, I mean, that's for edited videos. If I have just one longer video, then I can upload it directly from my computer into uh, YouTube. But if I have to edit the, the, the video, which this one is edited, um, I, have to, I have to have it 15 minutes or less in order for it to go from Filmora into YouTube. And so that's why this one's a little bit shorter. Um, also share my videos and uh, I really appreciate your support love each and every one of you um, want to welcome a new subscriber to my channel Andrew thank you very much uh, for subscribing to me I really appreciate that Allison is doing really well uh, with the with the pregnancy but that's not really what this video is all about many of you know um, across the across the country and across the world that on April 12th here in Minnesota we have the largest mall in the in the United States it's called the Mall of America for those of you that don't know it is mainly three floors and then on one half of the mall there's a fourth floor which is like there's theaters and there's nightclubs up on the fourth floor but that's only half of a floor in the middle of the mall there's a um, there's an amusement park inside. Yes, it is inside. There's glass ceilings. And uh, they've got so many more rides than when they first opened the mall. Um, most of them are for, like, younger kids. But there are some daring rides. They've got, like, a flume. And they've got a roller coaster. A couple, I think a couple roller coasters. Well, they got several roller coasters. But, like, one that they've had since the beginning. Um, and so they've got a lot of rides in there, too. They've got Legoland in there. They've got... Um, um, underneath in the basement in just one small section of the mall they have what's called sea life where you have to pay to get into it um, you don't have to pay to get into Legoland or the amusement park but you do have to pay to get into sea life and you can go down and you can like pet st stingrays there's like a giant tube where they've got sharks and all kinds of fish that, that swim around you and um so that, that place is kind of neat. But unfortunately, on April 12th, a couple weeks ago, there was a man that, uh, actually it was April 11th, that this man, this 24-year-old man, went to the Mall of America, and I guess he was trying to talk to women, just like go up to these random women and talk to them, and they were kind of like, he's kind of weird or whatever, so they kind of like brushed him off. And I guess it kind of ticked him off, and so he went to the mall on the 11th, in hopes of going to push or throw or something an adult off the third floor and try to kill this person. Well, I guess it didn't work out that day, so he left and then he came back on the 12th and he was up near, uh, like right in front of the Rainforest Cafe on the third floor and he approached this woman who had a little boy, his name is Landon, the little boy is five years old, and the mother had a friend who also had a child, and they were, you know, they were, the four of them were kind of hanging out in front of Rainforest Cafe. 
And this gentleman walked up to him, and the woman, the mother of Landon, looked up and said, "Oh, are we in your way? Do you want us to move?" Well, out of nowhere, this guy picks up Landon and throws him over the balcony, forty feet, and this little boy landed on the tile floor, forty feet below, like from the third floor to the first floor. And of course, the mother is freaking out. The guy took off running. I, I guess a witness to this tried to stop the guy and the guy pushed him into the wall and kept running. The police did catch him and he is now in jail uh, waiting his day in court. Um, I guess his next court date is the beginning of May. And the mother ran down, of course, to, to get to her son. Uh, several people were around. The police grabbed some first responders, security and everything. They were all there trying to revive this boy. Well, miraculously, this boy survived the fall and it's only been in the last couple of days today is the 27th of april it's only been in the last couple of days the little boy woke up and he's alert he still has a long way to go they think they hope that they can bring him home sometime in june there is a gofundme page which i'll try to do a link to that description or to that in in the description below in case if you haven't donated to it, you certainly can. They just yesterday reached one over $1 million. Um, the original um, goal was 500000 and then they raised it to a million because they were getting $100,000 a day. And so within the first six days, they were like six hundred, six to 700000 dollars And then the, once it hit about 900000 then it kind of slowed down. But they finally made, reached over a million dollars yesterday, and so the money is still trickling in. Um, but they're going to need a lot of money to help land in with his medical bills and everything. So any money that you can give, uh, if you haven't already, uh, for Landon and his family uh, would be greatly appreciated. I'll try to link the, the GoFundMe page in the description below. So this is a video. Mel uh, <laughs> Silver Mist and I went to, um, I wish I could edit that out. Uh, Silver Mist and I went to the Mall of America last weekend and we went to the spot where this all happened. And so, what you're about to see is the spot both on the first floor and on the third floor from a week ago of where this guy threw the kid over, the, threw Landon over the balcony and on the ground floor, you'll see stuffed animals and toys and all kinds of things by the escalator where, close to where he landed on the floor. So it's sad that this had to happen to such a young boy, an innocent boy. This guy knew, didn't even know the family. He just did it because he was being rejected by women that he was going up to and trying to talk to them and they were like brushing him off. So, um, so yeah, the, so the following video is from the Mall of America and I do have the outro in this one. I apologize for my, for my last video where the video at the end just kind of cut out, um, with the, with the announcement video. I did have an outro to that, but I cut that out. So I do apologize that it just kind of cut off at the end. But um, you kind of got the general idea of, of the announcement video of Allison's pregnancy. She is due October 25th of this year. So to, as of now, she is 14 weeks along. And she's doing fine. The baby's doing fine. So anyway, this, this video is really about Landon and his family. So here's the video from the Mall of America. I'm just going to let the pictures talk for themselves at this point.
Okay, we're up on the third floor. Here's the Rainforest Cafe. This is where it happened. Is about to die. I'll bet you he threw him from there too. Sorry, my battery died earlier. Okay, we're back over here. I just want to do one more shot real quick before my battery dies again. before he came here and he was going to throw an adult off the balcony. Hey, he it was really and he took it through. So he decided and to it took a an and it, it was like a split oh, second. The mom the mom asked if, if they were in their way and then he grabbed the kid and threw him off the balcony. They were standing like either either there or there. He had to have been right there for the boy to land here. So They've already raised probably over a million dollars for this kid. He's still hanging yeah. on. He's doing better is what I heard. I have, I have a nephew. Okay, so I'm going to let you guys go. So I hope you have a sunny day. Sorry this is ended on a sad note, but I just wanted to let you, let you see how it feels like a little accident. Well, oh, I see. Oh. You guys have a sunny day and we'll talk to you in the next week.